Welcome to another video. I have a very easy problem here. It is a Diophantine equation where we solve for only positive integers. So the question is to find all combinations of x and y such that x cubed minus y cubed is going to be equal to 91. Now a problem like this requires, as you can see, some factoring and then considering the right hand side to be the product of two factors then you can check out which of those factors you want to use for the smaller or the bigger all that all that let's get into the video so like i said the first move in a problem like this is to factor and establish a product so you write the left hand side as a product, you write the right hand side as a product. So here, if I factor difference of two cubes, I know it's going to be x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. And then on the right hand side, it's going to be 91. Now, this is equal to one of two cases. Because 91 can be written as the product of 1 and 91. That's the first option. You must always consider that option whenever you solve a problem like this. So it's going to be 1 times 91. Okay, now let's see. What else divides 91? Because 91 is not a prime number. I know 7 divides 91. So it's going to be 91, sorry, 7 times 13. And I think that's the only other combination you're going to have. You're going to have 7 times 13. Okay. So the next question you want to ask yourself is, so there are about, is it four permutation? Um, no. So it is either we have x minus y equals 1, and this is equals 91, or you switch it, this equals 91 and this is equal to 1 but because of the nature of this type of problem you can really tell which one is smaller and which one is bigger just by looking at these two clearly this is a bigger number than this because everything is positive right so if you're subtracting two positive numbers you're making it smaller but now you square a number and then you square a number and you're adding positive numbers and then you have the product of positives so clearly this is the smaller number this is the bigger number in both cases so the first case you're going to apply is to say that x minus y equals 1 and this one is equal to 91 and we'll see if it is possible to make it work so case 1 We have x minus y equals 1, and then we have x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 91. So let's see if we can do some kind of substitution. Well, this is easy because from here we know that x will be equal to y plus 1. So this implies that x equals y plus 1. So we can go to this equation and say... Uh, what can we do? Well, let's replace x with y plus 1. So we're going to have y plus 1 squared plus y plus 1 times y plus y squared equals 91. So this is the equation I need to solve. It's all in terms of y. Now you can choose to do it anyhow you want. You can square and then combine the like terms, but you see, <laughs> I can already see y plus 1 here. I see y plus 1 here. I don't see y plus 1 here yet, but if I borrow 1 from here and move this 1 here, I'm going to get y squared minus 1, which is the difference of 2 squares. So see what I'm saying. So I see y plus 1, or maybe I should just square everything. Yeah, yeah, because th there's no need. I don't have to do it, but actually I did not square when I did it. I just factored out and it was crazy, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, expand it. I don't want to expand, okay? I, I want to do what I did. Okay, this is going to be plus y plus 1 
times y. And then here, instead of writing y squared equals, I'm going to say plus y squared minus 1 equals 90. So what I did was I subtracted 1 from both sides, so I have minus 1 here. But I know that y squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares. y minus 1, y plus 1, right? Okay, so that's what I could have written here. So I have y plus 1 plus y plus 1 times y plus, this is now going to be y minus 1 times y plus 1 equals 90. <laughs> okay, now I can factor out y plus 1 from all three terms, so I have y plus 1, and what is left inside? Okay, so if I take out y plus 1 from here, I have y plus 1, then plus y, then plus y minus 1. So this 1 minus 1, and then I have three y's inside. 3y times this is going to give me 3y squared plus 3y. If I bring this 9 here, it's minus 9. Come on, 90 equals 0. Maybe I took the long way. I could have just expanded this and collected like terms. I don't think it was the long way. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are. And every term is divisible by 3, so I can get rid of the 3's. So I have y squared plus y minus 30 equals 0. This can be factored, right? Algebra 2, this is y um, plus 5. And y, sorry, y plus 6. And y minus 5 equals 0. By the zero product property, we can solve and say that y equals negative 6 or y equals 5. We know that our x and y must be positive integers. This is not a positive integer, so it means um, we will not take this. We're going to take just this one, y equals 5, but we have to go back and check, okay? If y equals 5 is the solution that we accept, so this one is not a solution, we accept this one. That means our x will be, what is x again? We said x is y plus 1, y plus 1, uh, that says that x equals 6, which is 5 plus 1. So we have x equals 6 and y equals 5. Let's quickly check. x cubed will be 216 and y cubed is going to be 125. So 216 minus 125 is 91. Okay, so that is correct. Now, so this is the only answer we got when we use the first equation. So now we're going to focus on the second equation. Let me do it here. Now, I don't need a lot of space for the second equation because just by looking at it, you could tell that there's a problem. So watch this. The second equation says, x minus y. Remember we said x minus y has to be the smaller one, okay? So x minus y equals 7. Now this is a problem because if x minus y is equal to 7, it means that x is greater than 7. Remember, y is not 0. So if x is greater than 7, then x must be 8 or 9 or 10. So we can say x is, in fact, it's already a problem because, look, it's 7 and 13. So if x is greater than 7, then x squared is greater than 49. But how can x squared be greater than 49 if the second equation is equal to 13. But x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 13. Do you think this is possible if this is already 49? This is also positive. This is also positive and then all of them adding up to a number that's much smaller than even x squared. It is not possible. This is not a valid equation. So, 
this is impossible since xy and y squared are positive. Therefore, only solution is xy equals 5 equals x is 6, y is 5, 6, 5. Hope you can see it here, 6, 5. Ah. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Why?